Is this the man that made the whole earth to tremble and did shake nations? You right there, my man? No? Uh, you're not all together there, are you? It says that made the, the world as a wilderness. So Esau made the whole world as a, as, as a damn wilderness, man. Okay? He's made the whole world, world into a damn wilderness, man. He done destroyed everything, man. Okay? Right? He said he made the whole world into a, a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof. Right? And opened up the house of the prisoners. So you got guys out there that are in all kind of captivity and all of that, man. Right? For years and years and that. Okay, and Esau, you're giving them the life sentence, all of that. The most I set forth judgments in a way that, that if a guy's going to be put to death, he's going to be put to death. Or the sentence, when the sentence comes down, but to be out there in them prisons for years and years, man, that's, that's, that's really like injustice. And then release that person back out into the, into the wild, so to speak. That, that man's person's mind ain't going to be all together there, man. That person's mind's not going to be all together there, man. Okay? It says here, uh, 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 that made the whole world into a wilderness and destroyed the cities that opened up the house of the prisons, man. It says all, all the kings of the earth, even all of them, lie in glory, everyone in his own house, man. So everybody's going to go back into their own allotment or their own, you know, specific rule, but they're still going to be, you know, rulers above them, man. Which is going to be us, okay? So back within the book of Habakkuk, the second chapter, and, um, um, the sixth verse and says, Shall not all these take up a parable against them, a taunting parable, meaning to say all of these different nations, man, they got actually gonna come up against Esau after a period of time, man. Okay? They're gonna come up against Esau. The scripture talks about all of them that are at peace with him, right? They have deceived him, man. Okay, so there's gonna be a period of, right now we're in a period of peace where everybody's at peace with America. But ultimately they're gonna destroy America. They're gonna be like, look, we're done with that. That's that's we're done with that. Okay? That's the place that issues forth uh, uh, death. That's why the scripture says he enlarges his, his desires as hell, right? Uh, and he is as death. And when they come in, uh, by way of the Messiah pushing out this word, okay, they're realizing that this man is bringing forth death, man, issuing forth death, okay? And they, they, ultimately, these nations, they're going to want to, they, they ain't going to want a piece of that, man, okay? They're going to be looking to go back onto the old ways, man. And we see now the Negroes, the Spanish, the Native Americans, they're still going to be trapped within that mind, within that maze, within that thought of thinking. That, that uh, 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 the only way is 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 America, man, and therefore they're gonna be destroyed within that land. Okay, that's why the, that's why the scripture says within the book of Micah, the second chapter and the tenth verse, arise ye, depart, for this is not your rest, and it shall destroy you even with a store of destruction, man. Okay, you, you be having your mind within this society is gonna destroy it, man. <laughs> All right, so back within the book of Habakkuk, the second chapter, and um, and halfway through the sixth verse, it says, woe to him. That increases that which is not his, right? How long, right? To him that is laden with iniquity. And when you check out that, that word iniquity right there, laden with iniquity, rather more, you find that that's talking about debts, man. And that's how this whole society, is, this, the whole financial society out here is created, man. It's accepted by way of debts, man. Okay? You know, you, you want to buy a house. Well, if you can't buy a house anymore, you're going to get some debt to pay that house off. You're going to get a car. You can't get a car anymore. <laughs> Right? You gotta get some debt to pay that car, that, that car off, man. Alright? And that's why the scripture says, one to him that's, what does it say? Uh, 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 um, how long to him that is laden with iniquity? And really, that's 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 almost a rhetorical question to say, how long? Well, we know it's a short time, man. We know this man ain't gonna be in power for all, all you no, know, forever and ever, man. We know that he's got a balance, a time span that he can't surpass, okay? We know he's got a time span that he can't, you know, he can't, he can't, he can't, uh, uh, he can't, uh, um, a, a rule over, okay? Because the Most High has set, set up his bounds that he can't surpass, okay? But see, he's gonna, that's why one of the reasons he's gonna come down uh, uh, having great rap, but also, too, he's gonna try to do all kind of things to where he can have a little bit longer. But I see, that's not gonna happen, man. That's not, not gonna happen, okay? The Most High is, gonna, is not with, with Esau ruling forever and ever. The Most High is with Esau being destroyed, man. Okay, that's why you're seeing all kind of revelations about how Esau conducts his kingdom out here being revealed man, by way of the internet. And that's why they want to do away with the internet. That's another rash thing that Esau wants to do, right? To do, uh, uh, to so that he can, you know, he can, he can save his kingdom that little bit much more. But that's just not going to happen, right? I mean, the internet might get shut down, but see, the truth is going to avail, man. <laughs> okay, brother's going to be waking up. Okay, you shut down the internet, but guess what? That means to say the elect is already being sealed at that point, man. Okay, and this stands the reason that the, the, that the elect is probably sealed right now because everybody's seen the videos. 
You've seen the videos. Yeah. That's right. Video. <laughs> All right. Everybody's seen the videos. Okay. Everyone's seen it, man. All right. So this word word has been pushed out there, man. Okay. They ain't no. They, we're coming into the times where you really ain't got no excuses right now, man. There is no excuses of uh, oh I didn't I didn't I didn't see I didn't understand it. Well, okay, understanding wise, you could ask somebody. Okay. If you don't understand the magnitude of the importance of the name of the Lord, you could have asked somebody and we would have told you. And God damn it, we told you, man. Okay? Damn, we, 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 done, we, done, we done showed these people, man. Okay, but see, because they're willingly ignorant. All right? They, because they're willingly ignorant. They don't understand the magnitude of the importance of the name of the Most High. And for their willingly ignorant, for, for, for their, willing, their willful ignorance, they're going to be destroyed because of that, man. Okay, because of their willful ignorance, they're going to be destroyed for the fact that they did, did deny the name of the Lord, man. Okay? Alright, so back within the scriptures here, within uh, uh, um, Habakkuk, the second chapter, and the seventh verse, it says, uh, Shall they not rise up against, or shall they not rise up suddenly, that shall bite, and they shall awake, uh, that shall vex thee? It says, Thou shalt be, um, thou shalt be for booties, alright, and un unto them. And what's, what's booties? That's talking about spoils, man. Okay, so all of these nations are gonna see. Oh, wait, hold on a minute. Let's. If we destroy America, look, we can, we can, we can take spoil off of that, man. Okay, we can cut our losses and so on and so forth. But ultimately, let's talk about the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. Okay, right? We are the Israelites. Okay, that's gonna take America for spoils, man. They really eat them, right? The house eat them. We're gonna possess their possessions, man. Okay, so how they go to, you know, the, the gold, the silver. Okay, right? The riches of the earth. We're gonna take all of that. Okay, we're gonna take all of that. All right, all of them riches that they're not stole from these nations, we, we're gonna take take those. But see, here, here it is in the kingdom. And this goes to show you the beauty of the kingdom. Okay, here it is in the kingdom. The Mosai is gonna have all of that happening, right? The Mosai is gonna have all of that happening, right? Right, and where we take all of these uh, possessions of these. Oh, no, no, it's all good. All right. All right. Uh, 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 we got, we got, we 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 got basically. Uh, um, when we take those riches, you ain't gonna have it to where that nation's gonna come up and they're gonna rise up and and now we're gonna deal with them and suppress their their revolt or all of that because they're trying to take the riches that we're taking off. No, we're there. Those are our rightful possessions, man. That's why the scripture says within the book of Deuteronomy, the seventh chapter, on the sixth verse, "Thou art holy people unto the Most High, above all people that are upon the face of the earth, man." Okay. So back within the scriptures here, it says here within the seventh verse, it says, "Shall they not rise up against thee that shall bite?" Okay, and awake that that shall uh, uh, vex thee, and thou shalt be for booties, for spoils, man, right, unto them. I said, because thou hast spoiled nations, and all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee. So, whoever's gonna be left out here, man, they're gonna be, hey, man, they're gonna be getting in on Esau, man. Right, like, 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 like how you got Ham right now within these different, you know, nations, and he's like a, he's like a, like a super servant, man. Ham will drive the buses, clean the toilets, all of that, man. Ham will do all of that, right? I mean, you got Jake's and Mistos. But for the most part, Ham gets them, you know, them, 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 them crusty jobs, man. Well, see, Ham is going to be whipping them Edomites too, man. You be like, man, God damn it, man. You had me working all of this, doing all of this crappy work. Now, now it's your turn to do this, man. Okay? And hey, it's a, it's a, hey, that's a, that's a, that's a messed up position to be a servant to a Ham, man. <laughs> that's a, that's a low position, man. Okay? That's a low position, man. But hey, ultimately, the most I've done, done made us to be even lower than that right now, man. Okay, which is why I like what that guy said right now because he said something that was really where he said, "Look, we're we're all we're all we're all messed up, man. We're all we're all we're all bound by a nickel, man." I like that because that's really that that's, that goes to show you that here in some in some respects, okay, because the scripture says it says, "Be not hasty, you know, be uh, be not hasty, right, to, to to credit a friend, okay." You got you know you know. But, but, but what he said was good because you got some guys out there within GMS that think they, they, they think that they, 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 they just 100, man. They just got it. Okay? That's not the reality of the situation. You don't have it. Okay? The Most High has had mercy upon you for you to understand this truth. Right? And therefore, you should be grateful. Right? And you should be pushing this truth even more fervently because guess what? You don't deserve it in the first damn place, man. Did all of this wickedness. All right? Here it is, you done did all of this wickedness and you're walking around like you deserve this truth and, 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 and somebody owes you something, man. Okay? That's 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 going off. <laughs> that's going off, man. Alright? Scripture talks about humility, man, and how the Mosai deals with the humble and how he resists the proud, man. Okay? So let me get a few more verses out of this and we'll call it time. 
It says, because thou hast spoiled many nations, and the remnant of the people shall spoil thee, because thou, because of men's blood, and for the violence of the land and of the city. And Esau, all Esau does is deal with the violence, man. Okay, that's what he de that's what he deals with. Now he can make come all peaceably and you know shake you with a hand and smile with you, but in his, in his mind he's thinking about how he's gonna how he's gonna uh, uh, usurp you, man. Okay. It says uh, because of men's blood and for the violence, all right, of the land and of the city and all that that, that dwell in. It says war unto him that covet uh, war unto war to him that covereth an evil, all right, a covetous a covetousness to his house. Right, that he may uh, set his nest on high, that he may be uh, delivered from the uh, from the power of evil. So pretty much, you know, the point was made, man. Right, in that really, you know, we're getting into the times of the destruction of Esau. Okay, but it's gonna stay on point. All right, uh, 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 this thing is coming thick and fast, man. And so, you know, and so is so is the, uh, the, the 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 help, man. Okay, so pretty much, I'm gonna say with that double honesty, apostles and GMS. Okay, honesty brothers have been pushing this truth in sincerity. Okay, shall I want?